Sheriff Ben died outside after he and his wife went out into the world to clean the cameras. We don't know if it was a real death or a fate one. Anna, the engineer, followed the secret her boyfriend gave her before he died. He said that there was a door in the basement of the warehouse, and that door was the way out of the warehouse. So she went alone and followed the rope to the bottom of the water. But after searching for half a day, Anna didn't find the door that her boyfriend had told her about. It was probably submerged under the water. With no way out, she climbed back up the rope to the shore, in order to forget the sadness of her boyfriend's death. Anna grabbed some white wine and kept pouring it into her mouth. She was so drunk that she passed out. On the other hand, the mayor was not idle. She was accompanied by police officers to the warehouse. Because Ben gave up his position as sheriff to Anna in the last episode, so the mayor was ready to meet the next sheriff in person. Before that, she went to the management's office. Even though she's the mayor in name only, but there are still some things that need to be approved by the judge first. Because Anna is directly under the management, so it had to be approved by the judge. After hearing that the mayor was going to list Anna as a candidate for sheriff, the judge frowned C for a moment because Anna had stolen for boxes of server insulation tape from him. It wasn't worth much money, but it was theft. So he couldn't have imagined that the mayor would choose her. That the mayor would choose her as the next sheriff. Seeing that the mayor was still determined to make Anna the next sheriff, the judge finally granted her request. After all, every hour that the warehouse is left unattended, the chances of a catastrophe increase dramatically, and Anna wasn't a threat to him, so why not take this opportunity to do him a favor? After sending the mayor away, the cunning judge smiled evilly. On the other side of the room, Anna was suddenly awakened by a shaking sound in a daze. It turns out that the generator on the ground floor has malfunctioned. If it's not repaired in time, the whole warehouse will lose power. The man wanted to repair it, but Anna punched him to the ground. Because she was the only one in the entire maintenance department who could enter the interior of the generator. No one else was qualified to do so. After much effort, Anna managed to fix the generator, but because she had just hit his apprentice. So the director invited her to his office for a talk. It all started because Anna was drunk last night and didn't repair the machine on time. And Jack happens to be his apprentice. That's why the director made an exception and let Jack, as an apprentice, take the risk. He had to keep the machine running 24 hours a day, and he couldn't let Anna hold up the maintenance department to keep the generator running forever. Anna made a bold decision. She wanted to shut down the generator at the warehouse for an hour and then take the opportunity to repair the rotary actor so that it would never fail again. But the minister rejected Anna's idea outright. He didn't want to be the first person in the history of the warehouse to shut down the engines. While the two persons were having a heated discussion, the mayor on the top floor of the warehouse led the police to the hospital's baby room. The baby here is the future of the warehouse, and the doctor in front of him is Anna's real father. The mayor, having gotten management's approval, next approached Mark for his opinion. If everyone agrees then the next step was to find Anna herself. Everything was ready. The mayor was led by a police officers to the lowest level of the warehouse. Anna was making emergency repairs to the engine. The repair has failed again. The only way to fix the rotor reactor is to stop the engine. Anna went to the director's office to get permission. The mayor was waiting for her. One of my duties as mayor is appointing the next sheriff. The other side of the door was straight to the point. The purpose of the visit, it's a tradition at the warehouse that the chief of police can recommend his position to someone else before he leaves. And Ben gave his position to Anna when he left for the outside. So the mayor wanted Anna to be sheriff, taking the badge in her hand. Anna wasn't interested. She wasn't the least bit interested in being sheriff. So she rejected the mayor. She looked at the back of the other woman as she walked away. Then she looked at the badge in her hand and something occurred to her. So while the mayor and the two men were still there, she changed her mind. If you want to succeed the sheriff, you have to agree to one condition, that she be authorized to shut down the generator, to shut down the generator and spend an hour modifying the reactor. Hoping to accomplish her goal, the mayor approved the application, and she increased the hour to eight. In that time, Anna had plenty of time to maneuver. The repairs began, and the people in charge shut down the power to the warehouse. All civilians were placed in the center of the hall. Just at the moment of power failure, the world on the screen suddenly changed from grassless to green and mountainous, followed by a black screen. The civilians in the center of the hall could see this scene very clearly.